Hello, I'm Van with Beckard. I'm here with Keith today. We're going to uh, look at two different fences. We hear a lot of people talk about using low carbon for a fence as well as high tensile, Keith. Yep. So we want to do some comparisons, show you what the difference between those two products are. Man, I get it. I understand why people say they want to use low carbon. And uh, this top strand that we have is 12 and a half gauge low carbon. It's easy to bend, it's very pliable, easy to tie, easy to work with. That's right, Keith. And um, you know, the high tensile is a little bit stiffer, a little bit more difficult to work with. But what you'll see is over time, you're gonna have lower maintenance with it. Absolutely. You don't get the elongation Absolutely. factor with that product. So uh, even though it's a little more difficult to work with up front, you're gonna have a stronger wire and one with less maintenance. You're not gonna get that elongation. When you get pressure, snow load, things like that on the fence, you're not gonna have to come back and try to retension it year after year. This is really in my wheelhouse. I came from galvanizing originally and running machines, so I understand fence dynamics very, very well. And uh, I just, I don't even put up or demonstrate low carbon anymore, Van. And I think this test that we're gonna run is gonna show that. We're gonna just show what kind of loads that you can put on this fence and how they're gonna react to those loads. And I think this is a great comparison. It's apples to apples, 12 and a half gauge low carbon on top. 12 and a half gauge high tensile on the bottom. We've got some pull scales set up. So that will really let us know how these fences are reacting to these loads that we're putting them on. Personally, I think that we're gonna see this low carbon start to stretch out very, very quickly. And then we're gonna see this high tensile just gain in, in weight as we crank on these pullers. Okay, Keith, we'll go ahead and get started. If you want to go around, sure. I'll come over and watch your gauges for you. Absolutely. Let's just uh, let's just work on this low carbon first. Um, we know where this product is going to break, and this gauge is just going to show us how it reacts to a load. All right, you just crossed 200. You're probably 240 pounds. Okay. Now you're at uh, just shy of 400. Just shy of 400. Yeah. Let's go just a little bit more, Vanda. Okay. Uh, just over 400, probably 440. Now I just took a full rotation, so that may mean that this fence is already stretching. So let's catch this puller up here and see what the high tensile is doing. You're just over 400. Okay, let's turn it one more time. That puts you just over 600. So With one rotation, we went from 400 to 600. So where are we at on the low carbon? Um, just below 400 now. So if you're apples to apples, we rotate this over one time, we should get to 600. That's right. So let's see where we get. And you're back to just barely over 400 again. So we just pulled a couple more inches out of that fence and we didn't gain any pressure. So yep. that tells me that wire's already stretching. Yep, you're definitely in the elongation factor. And this is where you really start to see the difference and where the high tensile products come in and really show off their strength and the lack of elongation. So as we take loads on that fence, it's gonna hold up year after year. You're not gonna be back on that fence every spring having to tighten it up from uh, That's snow right. load. Well, uh, let's put one more on that high tensile and see where we go. I mean, we're holding over 600 pounds. Okay. So. And I'm having to get after it now. Yep. Jump to 840 roughly. I'm a pretty big guy, but that's uh, that's getting up there. Yep. Man, so still holding about 400? Yes. We need to get that up. I mean, that high tensile is outperforming for yep. sure. Maybe 20 pounds. It's probably- Maybe 20 pounds. Yeah, we gained- four, Let's say 450. And we gained 200 on the last rotation on the high tensile. Yep. That pretty much tells me that uh, that fence is in the elongation point. And what happens when that fence starts to elongate, it starts to get smaller, starts to stretch. The next thing, that fence Correct. is gonna break. Yep. So let's go ahead and put one more on it and see what happens. I'm not gonna uh, lay out here too much because <laughs> I'm afraid I may break this fence, yeah. so. Coming up any? No change. No change? No change. Well, let's give it one more. Let's see what happens. Came up 20 pounds again. 
20, so 30 this pounds. fence is just sitting here and stretching, stretching, yeah. stretching. So if we were to put this fence up when it's nice and hot here in Arkansas, this winter when it drops down close to zero and it it starts to contract, that fence is just going to sit here and stretch. So next summer it can't react. It's going to be slack for sure. Yeah. So we're still sitting at 800 on the high tensile. Yes, over 800. And we've ran we've ran way past it on the low carbon. Yeah. So let's grab another one. Uh, just shy of a thousand pounds. Wow, that's a that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. I ran that high tensile or that low carbon product two or three rotations on that stretcher, and it's just sitting there stretching. We're not gaining anything. We're gaining almost 200 pounds per revolution on those pullers. You are, and as I'm sitting here watching the gauge, you're back down to almost 400 on the low carbon. So we sit here it's and stretch while we're standing. So let's just put a little impact on that yep. low carbon. You're below 300 pounds. Okay. So now let's put a little impact on that high tensile van okay. and see what happens. Well, maybe I'm gonna put some impact on it. It came up uh, maybe 100 pounds, but it's still staying exactly the same. So I don't no think stretch. it gave up any. Yep. So I was able to stretch the low carbon without even pulling on the stretcher bar, just yep. simply by putting replicated animal impact. Yep. And that would have been a small animal. Small animal. <laughs> And, but the, you know, that's really a uh, good indicator of how this fence is gonna hold up because we see a lot of animals will come up, especially during dry seasons, your grass gets low. They come up and uh, put pressure on that fence trying to reach through into the dish line and get uh, grass. Yeah. So that would be a good indicator, but when they do that, that fence is gonna stretch and then you're gonna have sag and then that's gonna be, uh, you know, cows will continue to do it and make that situation worse and worse. So let's say the weather was to warm up and this fence is gonna relax just a little. Yep. What's gonna happen if we take just a little bit off that low carbon? And One rotation. You're maybe below 100 pounds. Yep. Maybe, maybe Because 100. now we have yep. a slack fence. Yep. Now, let's drop that same one rotation on the high tensile and see what happens. Yep. Maybe, you may have to, you may yep. have to <laughs> grab this dog and release right. it. You ready? Yep. Okay, we dropped one on the high tensile. Yep, so we dropped um, 750, a little below 800. A little below 800? Yeah. That's still not a slack fence. No. Man, I say we call, we, we call this one done. I think so, and that shows you how, uh, or the difference between a low carbon and uh, high tensile fence. A high tensile fence is gonna give you year after year of service, regardless of animal pressure, snow load on it. It's gonna to continue to hold up for you. Guys, if you like to see these videos where Van and I actually put data behind some of these theories, let us know in the comments and we can do more of these. We can. Yep, absolutely. And uh, guys, if you like these videos, you can go to fencing.beckart.com, check them out. Also check out all the Beckart products we have there, installation videos, fence calculator, a lot of resources for you when you're getting ready to build your fence. Sure. When it comes time to purchase your fencing products for your next fencing project, check us out. Beckart, made in the USA. Thanks for watching.